my coffee's finishing. Good morning, beautiful angels, and happy new week. Also, it's episode three of Devon Diaries today, so I'm so excited that we're on to episode three this week. It's like 10, yeah, it's 10.30 right now. Um, I tried out a new morning routine today that I wanna show you guys, but I'm gonna show you tomorrow. I wanted to do it all today by myself to see how I would feel, to make sure I liked it, to see if I had enough time to do it, just like all the trial and error I did it today. And I'm feeling really good today, and I think it went really well. Um, so I'm excited to show you guys that tomorrow, but I also have been taking things that I told myself last week and implementing them this week. So for example, I kept sleeping through my alarm last week. I didn't do that today. I was like, get up. When I got up, meditated, got up after the meditation, didn't sleep in, already doing really well. And then I was also watching my video because I just have a little bit more editing to do today. And I talked about how I wanna do more reflecting on my life to remind myself how far I've come, but also to remind myself of my worth and where I'm going. So I'm gonna continue to do reflection reflecting sorry um and i'm gonna kind of show you guys how i do that but it's probably just gonna be through me talking um like i normally do through my videos and like i'm like oh well i was thinking about this like that's kind of how i do reflecting um and then if i really think it's something that is causing me stress anxiety or a problem in my life um then i'll start asking myself those questions and dig a little bit deeper but i have just some finishing touches to do on my editing today i did get a lot done yesterday but um i started kind of late and i just didn't stay up very late because i was feeling a little sick yesterday but I'm not gonna get sick, I'm not gonna get sick. So yeah, that's what I have going on for today. And then I also just made a coffee and um, I have my overnight oats, so I'm just gonna eat those while I edit. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna just be working right now and then I'll see you guys when I got my life together. <laughs> okay, it's 1 p.m. and I just finished editing and I started like, not even that long ago, I'm so proud of myself. It didn't take that long. I think last week it took me a really long time to edit because it was episode one of Devon Diaries. So I was still trying to figure out how I wanted it to look and like an intro and all that kind of stuff and implementing my editing style with like a longer type of video. So based on that, this one was a lot easier to like kind of replicate or, you know, make the second episode. So I'm really happy about that. I just love like, I don't know they're just really chill and just like me talking like literally like this and sometimes i look at them and i'm like wow should i be doing more and going to this and doing this but like i'm not like a fashion influencer i don't do that type of stuff you know like that that you'd normally see in like people staying alive like i'm just chilled and laid back but i definitely want to do more in my day so that you guys have more to see and like maybe you can be inspired and implement some of that stuff into your life but as well as me doing my morning routine tomorrow i also want to write in my journal again my um like planner for the day so we're gonna do that tomorrow so that I can implement that into my routine because I wanna do that every day. And then I think tonight we should also figure out a better nightly routine because I've kind of been off a bit and I wanna get back into journaling and reading and then going to sleep, listening to vibrations and like putting on my incense and everything in my room or like my diffuser. So just really kind of refocusing myself and getting back. But this is just, um, exporting from iMovie right now onto my computer and then I'm gonna upload it to YouTube and then it goes out tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time I think is when I do it. So I'm just gonna do that now and then eat some lunch and then when I'm done lunch, maybe journal, maybe even color. I'm just feeling like those kind of vibes today, just like really wholesome. Um, we can do a craft. I don't know. We'll see. Let's do it together, but I'll definitely have a clearer mind when I get some more food into my system. So that is right now. Hi, I'm done meditating. Honestly, I kind of fell asleep, like a little bit, but I was, my mind was running. Um, it seemed to repeat the same thing in my mind in just different versions, but 
a tip to meditate because I know that a lot of people do find it hard to just like focus on their breathing so that one that's why guided meditations are so good but two a way that I can always find my way back to my breath is counting my breath so when I notice I'm getting distracted and I find that awareness and I bring my awareness back to my like inhaling exhaling how my lungs feel anything like that I start to count my breath so like in out and I just count like one for one inhalation and exhalation or one inhalation two exhalation three four and I just keep counting um, and that helps me stay on track too but I did that and I feel really good and I feel really happy um, I do need to go downstairs to check on my video to make sure it uploads and I'm gonna get a little pillow as well because I want to make necklaces with you guys so last week i was doing this with my sister a little bit but i didn't end up finishing any so i want to show you guys this it's called apple filet so it's really cool it's like all rigid and then it's kind of like white powdery looking on the other side but this helps with intuition and connection with the divine and spirit um so i thought it would really be a good one for my meditation as well as just like oh any channeled messages and like wearing on a daily basis I know it's pretty big and it kind of looks like a tooth but it is like a necklace pendant the way that the wire is framed around it so I got this hemp from my sister and we used to make bracelets when we were little like all my sisters um, this is the Chinese staircase one that I'm making with hemp it's not done yet and I'm hoping I'll like it, but when it gets bigger, it'll kind of look like that. So I like the way it wraps around and I like the mix of the hemp with this. So I want to do this right now. So she also gave me some leather cord um, and I have a couple more pendants in here that I can make um some more necklaces with too so i thought that that would be something fun that we can do now but like i said i'm just going to check on my video really quickly and then we can have a little chit chat while we make some crafts so i'm back sorry it's a little bit later i'm back now though i had dinner with my parents um, my video went up and then i also went for a walk so i just was a little preoccupied but i want to finish this um necklace tonight so i'm gonna do that right now but i thought i'd talk to you guys for a bit because i haven't been very active on the vlogs today i don't know if i talked about this but okay um so i'm i want to raise my vibration right i think i've just been like kind of in a weird state thinking that like i i don't know i i think too much i think <laughs> and it kind of deviates me from my path in a way um, because I always think I should be doing more or doing less or doing something different. And I think, to be honest, what I'm not doing is actually listening to myself and my higher self, like about myself. And I think for a while, like I felt that I'm very powerful spiritually and you know, I have gifts which are great, but I think that there are more people in the world than I'm aware of that also have these gifts or are very enlightened or that are spiritually awakened. And I have so much to learn from them as well, which is so cool. And I literally want to meet all of these people. I think I'm just not like connecting with myself because I'm not being as present as I'd like to be. And obviously that's on me i know for a fact that when you absolutely love everything about your life that also helps raise your vibration so let's say you're wanting to like live on your own the universe god like your angels your guides they all know this and they want this for you too but they want you to be like if you can be in the vibration or the mindset let's say Th where you absolutely love your current situation everything about it and you're really just enjoying it and an easy way to do this is to like express and practice gratitude so you can be more appreciative of the small things but when you put yourself in this energy frequency your vibration will continue to raise and then what you're really wanting and what they see that you deserve after 
your hard work of putting out love, that's when you receive. And I think, not that I forgot this, but I've kind of just been out of receiving energy because I've been so focused on like the future and what I need to do or what I'm doing wrong or just like stressing out too much. And it seems like I'm stressing out a lot uh, for no reason and it's just not getting me anywhere. Um, I think it's more that I need to just remember how to raise my vibration and to love everything around me. And there's also other ways to raise your vibration. So um, overstimulation of any sort isn't good. Um, I actually just saw a video on this and this guy was talking about overstimulation in like eating, overspending, um, overindulging, like in any sort of way uh, because it affects your dopamine levels and what you should be just like enjoying like walking outside and getting fresh air looking at the sunshine it doesn't feel as good because of the amount of things you regularly overstimulate yourself with so i think like that was kind of a good message that he gave something that's going to help me is actually rereading the ask and it's given book um, i think i talked about this a little bit before but it's by abraham hicks or like sorry esther and jerry hicks written by like her spirit guide abraham and it really talks about how to manifest and um like attracting your desires in but that really helped me at the beginning of my spiritual journey with my mindset and kind of getting out of my ego so i think i'm gonna read that again it's kind of a heavy read but they break it up into sections but that really helped me get started on my journey and i think it would be a really important book for me to read right now to remind myself of where i should be or like where i want to be kind of spiritually again and just like expressing myself in the best ways possible i also don't like drink alcohol um it's very very rare that i do but i try not to like ever i also don't enjoy it um i'm trying to not smoke weed anymore it does sometimes like give me good visions or i can you know connect sometimes with my spiritual side in different ways but overall i just like being sober best so i think just reminding myself of that would be really good for me and then i'm also celibate right now so i've been in a few relationships like not a lot but i have only really like being like intimate i guess with someone else when i share an emotional connection with them and especially someone that i feel respects and values me my body my time because sex is an exchange of energy and like i don't want anyone else to have access to my energy if i feel like they don't deserve it or respect me and i also don't want to be taking on someone else's energy if they're just radiating low vibrational frequencies which is rare that i would that that would attract into my life anyway because I don't think I attract low vibrational energies, but again, I think that comes with me continuing to raise my vibration, but being alone when you're going through a spiritual journey is actually really important because when you awaken and when you see more and understand more and are at this point where you know that there's no going back to who you were before or the way you lived before because of what you've seen and what you've come into realization to prioritizing being by yourself and understanding your own energy where you want to go your path your mission um the bigger things in life like those are really 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 deep things that you should be doing on your own and one of the reasons why I say this is because meditation. Meditation calms the mind and it helps you connect with your higher self, which is how you access God or the universe or your guides. And it's hard to do that with other people. It's just like, although we're here to help each other and you know we have different specific purposes, you can't really figure out who you are, what you're meant for, what you enjoy. Um, 
and what you align with when you're constantly surrounded by other energies. I think just the more that I remind myself of my self-worth and raise my vibration and learn more about myself spiritually and spend more time with myself and meditate more frequently and read that book again, I think that is when I'll again be in empress mode and feel more confident about my gifts and really go through my next ascension. And I know all this, so what's stopping me? Literally nothing. I think it really starts with reading that book again and just like being so appreciative of the things around me and just loving everything so I can radiate this energy again because I love radiating the positive energy and it's just the absolute best. Yeah, it's it's time to level up for sure and that begins with me, not just sitting and waiting and believing that I deserve good things, which I do, but I know I need to do more for myself and with myself and by myself. So what am I waiting for? Right? It's time. <laughs> Okay, so I just did part of my nightly routine. I cleaned a bit of my room up. And then I also was working on this, like I said. So I got a lot of it done. Um, but the size it is right now, and like there's a little bit of string left on the end here. Um, but basically the size that it would be would kind of be like a joker so pretty tight but i don't know i kind of like it it's definitely not like an everyday thing because this is pretty big and this is really big um but like with certain outfits and stuff i think it'd be fun i think i would like it i mean that's why i made it for myself so i'm just gonna finish off the little end part here before i go to bed it's 9 17 so you guys already know it's just that area of my bedtime and while i was doing this i started watching our universe on netflix um morgan freeman like narrates it but it's just it's really cool it's like about everything being connected and like powered by the sun and stuff i'm only on like the first episode i think there's only six but i love documentaries and i think just like going with what i'm saying about me being more enlightened and loving and just like loving everything in my surroundings watching more documentaries when i do decide to give myself screen time is like what i want to be watching you know it's so interesting and i love nature and animal documentaries so going forward i think that's what i'm gonna do stop watching tv shows but definitely with the amount that like I want to be on social media to help spread a good message I definitely need to be watching my screen time so um, yeah like I said I'm just gonna finish this off and probably by the time this is done this little episode will be done and then I'm gonna show you guys my book so hopefully there's a good message in there that I can share with you guys tonight but I thought I'd give you an update on my necklace. I also, um, I don't know if you guys saw, I used to wear like a beaded necklace from Mexico every day and I love that one, but the end of it kind of broke. So I need to like find a way to fix that this week because I want to start wearing it again because I love wearing beads and like crystal. Like these are all crystals. Um, I, ha I think it's opalite or moonstone the first one and then the middle one is sodalite with my evil eye and then the last one is malachite. From my sister and it has like an essential oil thing which is cool and then i just have like my watch and random stuff over here but um yeah that i have rings now so just like i've always wanted to wear crystal jewelry so the fact that i'm just like getting more of it and making some is also something to be really happy about and just something that i love so oh my gosh i found an eggy Guys, when you find chocolate in your bed, I think that's the universe telling me something. Okay, so I started reading Ask and It's Given again. I skipped um, the first part where they introduced Abraham just because, like, I remember that. Um, but I just started from the beginning of the chapters. And I wanted to read this part because it's what we were just talking about. It is our powerful desire that you be pleased with where you are right now, in this moment, no matter where you are. We understand how strange these words must sound to you if you are standing in a place that seems far from where you want to be, but it is our absolute promise to you that when you understand the power of feeling good now, no matter what, 
You will hold the key to the achievement of any state of being, any state of health, any state of wealth, or any state of anything that you desire. I just forgot how much I love this book. Like, it's just... It's so good. This is what it looks like. Ask and it's given. It's just, it's such a good book to have. And if you're thinking of like starting a healing journey or a spiritual journey or just like literally to just raise your vibration and understand more about the universe, like I think every single person should get a copy of this. But just like hearing that again and reading that, I don't know. I just feel this sense of comfort that I haven't felt in a long time. So I'm going to keep reading because this is making me feel really good. But I love you and I hope you have an amazing night. through my morning routine today so I wake up before I mean anywhere from 5 30 to 6 when I wake up um I forgot to do my affirmation so we can do that together so morning universe show me how good today gets um, I am lucky and deserving of all good things today's gonna be a great day I am wanted I am loved I am beautiful, I am strong, and everything I do today is going to be with acts of love. I am excited about today, and all energies I interact with will be high vibrational energies, and I know I am just that much closer to going through another ascension, and I'm excited to see what today will bring. Thank you. <laughs> the headspace app. I've talked about this before. I don't do the wake up because that's a video and like I don't want to be really looking at screens this early. So I just do today's meditation. I click this and then I just kind of <sighs> lay in bed and calm myself as I do it. Okay, so I finished my meditation. It was really good. Um, it's now 6.20, so I'm gonna make my bed, and then I'm gonna cleanse my energy and just put some protection on myself before I go downstairs to um, read my book and just have coffee for the day. But I'm gonna make my bed right now, and you guys can <laughs> see that. protecting myself from any low vibrational energy okay so after i kind of just like <laughs> go around my body i also just cleanse my room like really quickly not a full thing keep it a good and safe space throughout the day planner okay we're just gonna pretend that the lighting is really 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 cute today okay so this morning i'm gonna go on a forest walk at eight probably like when i come back eat some fruit and go to the gym then after the gym have breakfast and finally hang my vision board then an Instagram strategy. So I want to make my Instagram more like a Pinterest board because I just want to post whatever I want and like that's what I'm feeling. So we're going to look on Pinterest together for like inspo and I'm going to show you guys what I'm thinking. And then journal, have lunch, read, maybe begin editing, meditate, and make another necklace. 
So nothing like too crazy today. Again, very chillin' in my energy, but I just love using this so I know kind of what my day is gonna look like. But it's almost seven, so I have to go get ready for my walk. <laughs> so I just finished at the gym and, well not just, I just had a shower and finished at the gym. So now it's time to make breakfast and then look at some pinterest inspo for my new instagram we can do that together but i'm doing grace beverly shreddy app right now i started a new challenge and i really want to eat what's on the app um because i pay for it and like i might as well use it to the full advantage but also i just think i've been saying for so long like i'm gonna eat a certain way and I just like haven't been doing a healthy balance and I really like the recipe. So right now um, for breakfast, I'm gonna have a tofu and avocado scramble. So you're gonna help me make that. And then we can get on with the inspo. But I have to moisturize and get dressed. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that first. So basically within the Shreddy app, once it focuses, it'll focus. Um, there's recipes and you can choose like a meal plan kind of thing based on what you eat. So I chose vegan because I'm like a flexitarian, flexitarian, whatever. Um, but I mostly eat like plant-based and stuff. So this is a really easy recipe and it tells you the calories, fat, carbs, and protein in it. So it's 18 grams of protein. It's tofu, 100 grams of tofu, half an avocado, and a teaspoon of olive oil. So you basically just put like olive oil, salt and pepper, any spices um, in a pan with tofu and let it cook for five to 10 minutes. And then put avocado on the side. I probably will add like, I have sliced chicken i'll show you so like just chicken slices um it's i think it's a these are this is 12 grams of protein per three slices um which is also like i think 60 calories or something so pretty good but i just need to eat this up i have another one of these as well um because i was eating it with eggs in the morning but i realized my body doesn't like eggs and i don't really like them either so it's not really any hard feelings but i'm gonna um, I have some tofu here that's in water, so I'm just going to measure out 100 grams and then um, I'll show you guys when I like chop it up and stuff and then I'll probably just um, like cut up these and mix it with the tofu while it's cooking on the pan. Very easy, I have no idea what it's going to taste like but when in doubt add hot sauce. <laughs> Taste test time. Let's try it by itself without chicken. Tastes like nothing, like literally nothing. <laughs> I think hot sauce is a good move, but I recommend low cow, good, lots of protein. I think all together. What was it, 18 and 12, which is 30, 30 grams of protein. So now that I'm finished breakfast, we're gonna go on a walk and then we're gonna do our little Pinterest inspo. Look, say hi. <laughs> walk by <laughs> okay so I've been looking every time I talk and Ellie is nearby she leaves <laughs> every time so I've been looking and I want an Instagram page that's like kind of shows what I know spiritually um, auras the art that I like angel numbers just sending good messages and also things that when people read 
they can repeat whether they say it in their head out or out loud to like help them with their vibration or love um so a lot of like colors and stuff oh sorry there's a glare but like a lot of colors and stuff like this but also just like pictures of me or pictures of like nature because i love taking pictures of nature so i don't know i found this instagram and this is kind of what i would like to start posting not this much spiritual stuff um i want to post more about like have myself on there so like i have that but then also just post like highlights and like photo dumps i guess i don't know this is just what i'm thinking i don't really know not how to find inspiration but like i don't know exactly what i'm looking for i do but i'm like how do i search this i think i should just start creating and posting and like taking more pictures and going off of that and see how that works okay i found a page oh it's called awakened apparel on pinterest but do you see how like there's spiritual pictures but then like also people so like oh, kind of like this in a way is what i'm thinking i don't know why i can't scroll but yeah i feel inspired so i'm happy i'm just gonna start posting whatever i want on my instagram like i should but yeah i'm glad we did that i think i'm gonna hang out with a friend today too so i'm thinking i'm I'm gonna read a little bit more of my Ask and It's Given book to help with my creative self and get me in a good mindset. And then before I hang out with her, I might make a smoothie just for some lunch, just cause I don't think I'm hungry enough for a big real lunch. Okay, so I read a, a chapter um, and it was really good. It's still like, like I just read chapter two of Ask and It's Given, but it's getting me excited, getting me thinking. I took like a 30 minute nap because after like the rebirth phase that I feel like I'm going through, I also know that like if my body or soul is telling me to rest, to rest and like I think it was only like 30 minute nap, it wasn't very long, but I feel better and more energized, <laughs> so I'm happy about it. So I don't know if you remember, but this was like, I used to wear this a lot. I got this in um, Cabo when I first started my vlogs or like my YouTube videos and it just like broke off. So the end part here is not attached on this end. Um, so I just need to tie this so I can reattach this like little piece so I can wear it again. So I'm trying to figure that out right now. Um, I also just got my period. <laughs> so that's cool. I mean, I knew I was getting it, so it's like not a surprise, but, and it's like cold out. It's like really, really windy. So I'm not loving it because I don't like when it's like chilly outside, you know? I feel like I don't talk to you at all or I talk to you a lot and there's no like in between but I like just documenting me living my life I'm also thinking because I do have time that I really do want to post like three videos a week um and do more like enlighten me series videos because those are my favorite I love vlogging and documenting or like doing my little Devon diary show but I think those are what really help me get my messages across and then this just documents my journey so it's a good balance for sure but I think the other ones actually help you know but I don't know everyone benefits from different things in different ways so yeah but that's just what I've been thinking lately too okay I need to figure this out okay do you see that I got the end on. Um, <laughs> but there's like extra string on the end there that I've been trying to tie together to make a knot like this end. But this is as far as we can get, which I call progress because now all the beads won't fall out. So little wins are still wins. But it is now 3.47 and it's time to make dinner i'm gonna make soup i guess it's kind of early 
but if I make it, then it can just like stay on the stove on simmer or just like get reheated. So it's coconut squash soup, again from the Shreddy app. I'm gonna multiply the recipe by three so my dad and mom can eat it too. Um, but it's basically butternut squash, ve vegetable stock, onions, garlic, coconut cream, olive oil, and then um, bread on the side. But the coconut cream is just for the top. Like it's basically just the vegetable stock and the squash and garlic and onion. Like it's very easy. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna make this now while I watch Spongebob. Also, you can just see the tiredness in my face. I feel exhausted today. beautiful angels so i'm i'm literally so happy today first of all got my necklace back on but second of all it's like almost 12 we're halfway through the day did my morning routine today uh, meditated had a really good walk this morning but i told myself that i'd start taking more pictures <laughs> with my camera and i took some this morning and they're just like so good and so fun and i just love it and i'm so happy about it and then at the gym i was just like feeling some type of way today and i was doing upper body and like i'm on a new workout program now like a new thing from the app that I always tell you guys about so um and it's a little bit faster like my workouts are like max like 50 minutes depending on like but like not even the actual workout part I just have to like move weights around and stuff anyway so it's really quick really good it burns but I was just the music I was listening to today was so good and then I started listening to um 
American Teen by Khalid, like his album, and it just put me in such a good mood. And I was like listening to it in the shower and singing, and I got out of the shower. And as I was like moisturizing and putting product in my hair and stuff, I was just dancing naked in the mirror, just loving myself, loving my body, and feeling so good. And I just highly recommend when you take a shower in the morning or when you get ready just like look at yourself naked say loving things to yourself and put on some music that you love and just vibe like it'll honestly put you in the best mood and i'm so happy also the sun is finally out again um so that is also making me really happy so i'm gonna go for a walk right now and then i think today i'm gonna film another enlighten me video um and i really should use my planner today to just figure out the next like upcoming little bit of content um but yeah i'm just really happy and really excited and i thought i'd share that <laughs> good morning and happy thursday um it's not Wednesday, so you're probably like, why are we missing a day? Well, I didn't film yesterday at all. I wasn't very happy about that, but I know what I want to do, and I know what I should have done yesterday, and I didn't. And I think a lot of it comes with reminding myself, like, who I'm surrounding myself with and who is like a like-minded individual. So that happened. And then I am also haven't been taking my thyroid pill, as you guys probably know because <laughs> I ran out so I have to go get blood work today and that's just been making me really tired because obviously my metabolism if you didn't know is super slow so um, I need that so I'm gonna get blood work taken today but right now I have some books my journal and my planner and I'm just gonna plan out the day I also have to edit today and film so it's gonna be a busy day but i'm excited um but i just wanted to talk to you guys and say hello because i didn't film yesterday um and i feel really bad about that but this is the lineup for this morning so i have my coffee obviously my journal um my like planner and then i have my um like book to give me knowledge and then my fun book so i'm gonna spend at least an hour reading today like i want to spend an hour at least on this and then maybe like 20 30 minutes on this and then i'm gonna journal this morning and plan out my day as well but again that's what i have planned so i think right now it's 7 30 i'm gonna read for an hour while i drink coffee and then i'm gonna go to the gym either this morning or a little bit later on today but before i get any of my like blood work and any of that done i do need to edit this morning because i again did absolutely nothing yesterday <laughs> but it's okay it's a new day so i'm gonna edit today and then do my appointments but I want to say some affirmations with you guys I'm kind I'm loving I'm productive I am wanted everything is always working out for me in the best way possible I am on the right path uh, my success is inevitable and I am so absolutely loved and I need you guys to repeat that with me because that is the mood for today but I'm gonna get started on my morning and just drink some water and some coffee and read my book and just enjoy my morning with you guys. Life has been taking five ever today. Like, honestly, <laughs> I just don't know why. But it's like, almost 3 30 so i'm going to the gym now it's gonna be so busy this is why i go in the morning but it's okay um but my video is just uploading now it's just taking a while i was just talking to a friend and telling her all the things i want to be doing and should be doing and time is just so precious and valuable and just something you can't get back and I think when you're in a period of like wanting to grind, wanting to better yourself and all this stuff, like it's just really, really important to value your time. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, but I need to go to the gym because I know it'll make me feel good. And then the rest of my day will be chill and then I'll film later tonight. And I think I just want to be cozy and like film in my basement. And my basement's 
nice and fun so that should be good i'm gonna go to the gym now and i'm definitely not filming because it'll be really busy so i'm just gonna leave my camera here at home and then it might be dinner time after that but i'll check in with you guys after and i love you all the time so much and um yeah i always appreciate you on my journey hi <laughs> i'm back from the gym and i showered and i had dinner it's a little bit later my video is gonna go up in 30 minutes um so right now i've just been like grinding but right now i'm gonna go through my video and take some clips off so i can post some um like shorter ones on tiktok and instagram reels so i want to start doing that um just so people can see like little snippets and like maybe relate maybe look anyway you guys you get it and then um I'll probably read for a bit because my like fun book, I need to tell you guys what it's called because there's like a whole series, but it just got good. <laughs> so I want to read and then I want to read Ask and It's Given. And then I think later tonight I'm going to film the video probably at like 8 p.m. or something. So in like an hour and a half. So it doesn't give me like a lot of time, maybe 30, maybe nine, just because um, I kind of slept a lot today as i said at the beginning of the video i'm on my period um i've been tired and i haven't been taking my thyroid pill to help me regulate my metabolism and not be so tired so yeah i think i'll stay up a little bit later but i might be tired i don't know but i want to film today i put that on my non-negotiables on my planner and what else did i put on my planner i don't know it's downstairs i'll have to look but i'm gonna do that all tonight and then i'm gonna get blood taken tomorrow but i'm obviously not gonna show you guys that because one they probably won't let me film and two why would you ever want to see that it's so gross so yeah but i've been really happy today and i was at the gym and with my new workout plan that's like quick i was just going hard and my legs were killing me but i felt so strong and i just love feeling strong and it just felt really good so love yourself but i hope you guys like all the videos that have been coming out and my content and i hope you just like hanging out with me because i like hanging out with you it, it's like the best part of my day <laughs> so <coughs> so i'm in bed obviously i didn't film again um i just don't feel well today I feel sick <laughs> but seriously so i'm definitely gonna film tomorrow because i have a more chill day maybe we can make some recipes really spend some quality time together but i'm gonna film enlighten me tomorrow and then i thought of something new today but i'm gonna sleep on it before i discuss it with you guys but yeah i really don't feel well and i it's 11 so like i ended up staying up late but i ended up reading so it's like but i was on tiktok which i'm upset about because i've been staying off of tiktok because it's like such an incredible waste of time um and i spent a lot of time on it today and i can never get that back so tomorrow will be better but until then i need to sleep but i love you and i'm so sorry again that i've been so all over the place anyway Good night. Good morning. <laughs> Happy Friday. I'm so much happier today. So excited. I always say I'm so excited. Um, also, did I show you guys this is back on? Anyway, so um, today it's like nine something. I'm about to go to the gym. It's pull day. Um, but I was feeling really sick last night. And like yesterday, I just wasn't feeling well at all. So hopefully today's better. I feel a little bit better. Um, but today I'm going to film. I'm finally hanging my vision board. I've been putting that off for so long. But we're doing that right when we get home from the gym. And I'm going to get you guys to hold me accountable. And then I also want to make more necklaces. And I really want to keep reading my book. Because like I said, it just got good. And I'm just really interested in what's going to happen next. So I think I'm just going to have a really like chill day. It's raining today and like really gross. So it's just perfect for that. But yeah, I know I always say like 
I want, I'm sorry, my vlogs aren't as fun. Oh, maybe we'll bake today. I think it's a good day to bake. We should bake. I want to make, um, yeah, okay. Gym time. I just went to the gym and it was really good. I did pull today, but my period really has me feeling weak. I don't want to say weak, but you girl struggled today slightly. But I still got my workout done. Okay, I want to tell you guys a little bit about hypothyroidism. So, um, your thyroid, it is like what affect. It's like your metabolism, right? But there's hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. So I have hypo. So mine's naturally extremely, extremely slow. And your thyroid, it affects your sleep your period um the way that your body regulates temperature so like hot and cold um your eating just like energy all together just like everything to get you functioning it affects and mine is extremely extremely slow so yours or a normal person their levels would be anywhere from one to three someone with lower or like concerned even though the numbers go up i don't understand would be anywhere from four to six mine when i was diagnosed at about the age of like nine ten eleven around that area was at 700 like guys i'm just struggling a little bit right now but it's okay i just will get myself situated um okay change of plans due to the fact that i feel like i'm literally gonna pass out <laughs> I'm gonna go see if my mom will drive me to go get blood taken right now because I don't feel so good, guys. But I'm okay, don't worry. But yeah, I really need to go do that like right now and I'm too tired to drive. Okay, so I have to talk quietly because my parents are working. But I made an appointment in 45 minutes to get my blood taken. So we're good but until then i'm gonna make this smoothie so uh, i do one banana and it's frozen so i usually just do like a cup of frozen bananas like that are chopped up it looks like this um because i just assume that this is one whole banana and then i put in half of a cup of milk um i just shake in hemp and chia seeds and then i do a tablespoon of almond butter and then I do one scoop of protein, and my protein is a clean vegan. Um, I'm using the vanilla one. It's from Body Energy, and it's 31 grams of protein. So we got this yesterday. It's like a chocolate plant-based milk, but it has 8 grams of protein. So I thought that that would be good with the banana, like chocolate banana. It might taste like ice cream. So I'm going to try this today instead. I'll put all the ingredients together and I'll show you. of a cup of cold water just at the end on top um, because this won't blend without more liquid it's too thick and I usually have like a latte every morning as you guys see the coffee I always make so I don't want to drink that much milk um, so I just do water so I'm gonna add some water and I'm gonna blend it and then we're gonna taste it <laughs> chocolate banana ice cream like it's so good so it's eight grams of protein per cup so four plus 31 is th it's probably about like 36 grams of protein with the almond butter maybe more i should look at the almond butter but i highly recommend especially if you like sweets and stuff you could make it at night 
for dessert for like ice cream and just do less liquid to make it thicker and add like strawberries and stuff <laughs> on top. But I highly recommend, it's really good. Is it Finley approved? She wants to try it, but it's chocolate. I'm sorry. <laughs> Finley makes a smoothie with me every day and I always let her lick it. <gasps> oh, she's waiting, but it has chocolate. <laughs> so she can't have it. I'm sorry, Finley. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> okay, so it's 5.15. <laughs> I'm like so confused with everything in my life right now. So it's 5.15. Um, I've just been reading all day since I got blood taken. It took forever even though we booked an appointment, but it's fine. And I haven't been feeling that good today still just because of, I think, my thyroid. And, like, that also affects if I get sick or not, which is kind of funny because I used to get sick, like, all the time. And then until I learned about, like, the power of words, I just don't get sick anymore. But I'm not feeling the best. So I'm just kind of taking it slow. I guess, um, just cause I don't feel absolutely great right now. But look how curly my hair is. Can you even see? It's so dark, but I really like my hair today. You can barely see. But I want to tell you guys, I've basically been reading all day um, this book my sister bought me called A Court of Thorns and Roses. I think it's like a series of five. Um, and it took me a while to like dive into it just cause like I've been really tired and haven't been reading. But I'm just on chapter 13 right now. Um, it's a good book. It's like kind of spicy and sexy in a way, but it's like, magically type book like it's giving divergent times like like when i read the divergent book i'm getting like the same kind of feeling of like a different type of world but like that fiery passion kind of thing that was in it if you've ever read the book you understand what i'm talking about um but it's really good, so I highly recommend because I've literally been a bookworm all day. But I really do want to film today, but I just like, I really don't know how I'm going to feel. That's the only thing. And like, I usually meditate and stuff before I film the other types of videos that I like to film. But like, I'm just so tired and not on par so i don't know guys i really need to but it's just like i don't know but i'm gonna try today but yeah we're gonna try um i want to like restructure them again a little bit to make them a little bit more like motivational inspirational and then make and then be posting on youtube three times a week and make the third one kind of like how to like kind of what the enlighten me is now but make that a different video and then change enlighten me in a way i don't know it's kind of hard to explain you just need to see it and i just need to do it instead of saying i want to do this i want to do this so that's that um but i'm gonna keep reading right now i'm like do i have a fever but i'm gonna get some water yeah and keep reading but i wanted to say hi and check in um and say I'm not dying, I got blood work, so I will be okay soon. But we're just gonna have to bear with me for now, okay? <laughs> beautiful angels it's saturday it's literally 4 p.m um i've been reading my book all day but i also just came back from the gym and showered and um i'm feeling like really really sick i'm glad i got blood work done yesterday so that hopefully i can get a new prescription like prescribed medication soon today it was like a cardio and core based workout so it was warm up two rounds of like hit workouts and then a finisher and i barely got through the warm up i finished the first like four like 
set of hit workouts and I my timing was so off and then I started the second one and I like I, like, I literally threw up in my mouth like a little bit um, so I just came home and I like sat in the shower and I threw up <laughs> which I know is TMI but like I really just am not feeling well so I hope that I can get my medication soon so that um, my body can like properly function again um, I'm just feeling really sick but yeah I've been reading my book I'm almost done it's an amazing book <laughs> like I love it and I can't wait to read the rest of the series um, and I said I would film today I know I said I would film and I know I've like barely been vlogging this week but if you've made it this far in the vlog you now understand why I haven't like I've <laughs> been sick my body isn't properly functioning it's like everything's just super slow um, and I'm just uh, struggling a bit, but it's okay. Um, I guess I meant to go through this, so I'm taking it as a positive, but, um, maybe I'll film later. I think I just, like, I literally think I need to take a nap right now because I don't know how much longer I can stand. Like, even my vision is bad, but I appreciate you all and your support and your love and your patience with me all the time, but yeah, I, I'm just, like, physically mentally everything is collapsing so yeah if i don't film my other video today i'll save that for next week because tomorrow is an editing day <coughs> um, and it's like a snowstorm again outside and i might have cut this out of my last vlog but every time i've been feeling off or sick or some drama has happened in my life or something it's been like crazy snowing outside and it's just insane how much I am connected <laughs> with the weather here like I don't know it's just crazy but anyway I love you all I'll probably sign off for the week I appreciate you watching um, another episode of Devon Diaries I love you so much I hope you're liking them and if I don't see you later tonight I'll see you soon but don't forget to love yourself first and I hope you feel better than me today <laughs> bye